Look, was Christ really buried? Is this whole story very fairy and I was just a man? Did they really find his bones and then lie to keep the code? Or did he walk out of a tomb to a throne? Was he God? Was he not? Did he buy us a spot in the heaven? Or is all this a ruse? Are we just delusional dudes who refuse to believe in the truth? Are we fools? It's all just a white man religion European invention to drive the weak to submission How can an African like me get the vision When these preachers own slaves were taught that freedom was Christian Christ of the culture, Christ of the vultures Committed genocide with a cross and a holster Christ of America, Christ of the system That is not my savior, that's a politician Christ that the Lord knows, Christ that was foretold Christ that should have come back in his war clothes Which Christ do you believe? You gotta know before you leave Yeah Yes, he did arrive. Yes, he was alive. Brown Middle Eastern definitely wasn't white. No, he never married. He never had any wives. But committed his life to an interracial bride. Yes, he did rise days after he died. God of the oppressed, even then, and he still thrives. Died as a criminal from the hood for the town. What can I say? Yes, he is God. From the womb to the tomb to the throne. You can go to the moon, but you can't hold to his bones. Nobody owns a safe. Portions are all failed. He made us in his image. Da Vinci returned to favor. But he is still risen. He is still risen. He is still risen. Over the guns of supremacists. Over all the division. Over the wicked intentions. The real one is living. Christ of the Galilee. Christ of the Nazareth. Christ that will vindicate. He will make it right again. Christ that was worshipped by the ancient of Africans. Many men claimed him, but did he ever claim them? Christ that the Lord knows. Christ that was foretold. Christ that should have come back in his war clothes. Which Christ do you believe? You gotta know before you leave. That's it. It's something that we create in order to determine how the polis, the people, will live together on this land. It's a political construct. What's real is ethnicity. What's real is the people groups who move through time and space and land and are shaped by their experiences together. So I would argue we need to reclaim ethnicity. If you are human, then you are created in the image of God and therefore called by God to help steward the world.